are, Lord, you are wonderful, our God, you are excellent, and excellent is your name, Jesus. Excellent is your power. Hallelujah. Lord, you are wonderful. Our God, you are excellent. Brethren, let's just bless the name of our God. Let's tell him how excellent, how great, how mighty our God is, full of wonders, the one who can do exceedingly abundantly above what we even ask or even imagine. Our God who is faithful, our God who is gracious, we bless your name tonight. Father, please receive our thanksgiving. You are good. You are kind. You are excellent. Thank you for your presence in our midst tonight. Thank you because you pour out your grace even in more abundance, overflowing upon our life tonight. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. If we just open um, to our hymn tonight, it's on the page. It's on 3PG page. Um, it's our hymn for the month. We are one in the spirit. We're going to take it all together. One, two, three, go. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one. In the spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity will one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are. Christians by her love, we will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand, we will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand, and together we spread the news that God is in our land, and they'll know we are Christians by her love, by her love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by her love. We will walk with each other, we will walk side by side. We will walk with each other. We will walk side by side. And we'll guide, smile, and dignity and save each man's pride. And they'll know we are Christians by her love, by her love. Yes, they'll know. We are Christians by her love. Oh, praise to the Father from whom all things come. And oh, praise to Christ Jesus, his only Son. And oh, praise to the Spirit who makes us one and they'll know we are christians by her love by her love yes they'll know we are christians by our love 
hallelujah and they'll know we are christians by our love and by our lives yes they know we are christians by our lives Amen. Amen. Jesus. God bless you, man. God bless the praise team in Jesus' name. Let me just thank God for the privilege of being here again. Thank you for the grace to work together once again. You say we work together hand in hand. We work together side by side. Thank, thank God for the privilege of being here as a symbol of working together side by side, as a symbol of working together hand in hand. Just giving praise, let's worship him. Let's thank him for that privilege. It's a real privilege to be in his presence, brethren. Thank him for the privilege of being in his presence, of listening to him, of speaking to him. And he's speaking to us in return. Just thank him for that privilege. He has been the one holding us, sustaining us, helping us, even this far. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's thank him for every grace he has released upon our life, for the enormous grace we have received as individual, for the enormous grace we have received as families, for the enormous grace we have received as body of Christ, for the enormous grace we have received in the past few days. Thus thank God for all that we have been blessed with. Thank you for the privilege. Just pray together is a privilege. Thank you for that. It's magnifying that you have a, a people you can pray with, that you have a group of people you can look forward to a time of prayer with. It's a real privilege. Thank God for that. Magnify his own name. Prayer can be difficult when you are alone, but when you are in a body like this, it becomes much easier. Thank God for that privilege that God has now abandoned you to your to you, abandoned you to just yourself alone. That He provided the means and an venue where you can express yourself before Him. Thank God for the privilege of fellowship. This is a wonderful thing to worship Him, to fellowship together, to walk hand in hand, and to walk side by side. It can only be Him. Thank Him for all that you have been doing work with us in this particular time, magnifying and exalting, giving all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And to believe in our homes and families, there is changes taking place by reason of grace that are bestowed upon us in this season. Is that the time for the grace upon my life? That is making a difference in my family. Thank you for the grace upon my life, making a big difference in my family. I wasn't like this two weeks ago. I wasn't like this last year. You've made a d- big difference in my life. The more I get close to you, the more I grow in you, and the better my family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have made me a better wife. You have made me a better husband. You have made the children to have a better parents just by reason of this month. Thank you for this, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this privilege. Thank you for this privilege. Thank God it's a big privilege for me I have received from you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the grace I have received, for the big privilege I have received. Thank you because you have expressed yourself in me and through me, to my family, to my loved ones. In this one week, it has been wonderful. Thank you for the grace I have received. Thank you for the grace to work with you and to work in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the privilege and the grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for expressing your grace in me. Thank you, Father, for making my life the expression of your grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you in believing, in confessing, in living the word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All are the pleasure of your grace. Thank you for humility of mind. Thank you for taking pride far away from me. Thank you for the, for the gentleness of your spirit. Thank you for the newness of you in me. Thank you because I'm no longer the same. Thank you, Father. My family is expressing the reflection of your grace in my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm not taking this opportunity for granted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am blessed. My family is blessed. My entire home is blessed. Everyone and me are blessed. Oh, Lord, I say thank you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you for the wonderful thing you are doing in my home, doing my life, doing in my workplace. Thank you for working your grace in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Can you just thank God because God is writing our story. 
And once God is writing your story, it will surely end in praise. Mm-hmm. Say that, thank you, because grace is writing my story. Thank you, because grace is writing my story. My marital story, my story in my, work, in my workplace, the story of my life by raising of the children you have given me, the story of my life by the family I find myself, the story of my life by raising of friends and family members, among my siblings, among my loved ones. You are writing my story by your grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because it shall be said of me that I have received grace of you, and I'll be blessed of grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know, grace is like water. At the point you will drink and you will so feel. But give yourself an hour or two, you will touch it again. At most, six hours. You can hardly drink water in the morning and you won't drink again but before the end of the day, unless if you are fasting. Even if you are fasting, the thirsty for water, the thirst for water will be there. And you'll be longing, you'll be looking forward to the opportunity of breaking the fast and drinking water. As if you don't even drink in between. And uh, when that opportunity, that joy will be in you, you'll be looking forward to it. You said that before you, that one time, one day, at a point, I will be opportunity to break this fast. And I will drink water again. Because your body is thirsty for water. That's how grace is. When you receive grace, you, you look as if you can go miles. It looks as if it can go days. It sometimes people look as if it can go months or years. And this power is enough. God was telling Elijah, he said, please eat more. Eat as many as you can. Because the, day, the journey is long. What you eat now will take it for 42 days. And the man was still doing the length and eating. And the and Lord said, please eat more. And drink as many as you can. Because the water, the brook, is going to run dry. And whatever you have in you now will take you for a long time. But thank God for grace that never run dry. The meal of grace never, never run dry. As long as I come to his presence, he will continue to fill us. And the water of grace is never dry. That is what we are, that is what is better than us. But better, better for us than that of Elijah. No wonder the Bible says that out of four shall flow rivers of living water. But when you go to the river of living water, the river is said may not actually flow into your mouth until you bend down or you pick it up and drink. And when you drink, you'll be satisfied. But I tell you, in some few hours' time, the need for underwater will be there. The same thing for grace. Last week, last week during the week, you will agree with me that we are all filled. And we all feel full. And we all feel happy. And we all feel as if with this, my family is made. Is, is made. With this, my relationship with my spouse, with my children, with my co-worker, with my neighbor, they will know a man of grace. Or a woman of grace has just been born. And this about me is different. I am in Christ Jesus, and all, th- all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. But I tell you, a day or two after, if you agree with me, you will know that you need more grace. Look as if the one you have received in that one week is already dwindling and going down and going down. If you don't refill it, before you know, you are back to the same place you were before the beginning of this month. I want to say, again, Father, refill me tonight in Jesus' name. Refill me again in the mighty name of Jesus. Refill me again with grace tonight in Jesus' name. Refill me again. I'm thirsty again, Lord. Refill me tonight in Jesus' name. I need more of grace. I need more grace. I need more grace. Pressure I've messed up, messed up just in these few days. Lord, refill me again tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on me for this I've forgotten. And remind me again tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Refill me again. I've come to be refilled. I drank of the water. But now I'm tested again. Lord, refill me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Refill me with the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Refill my spirit with grace in Jesus' name. Let my whole life be an expression of your grace once again in the mighty name of Jesus. My marriage, my parenting, style, ability, and ability, my dealing with my spouse, my dealing with my friends, my dealing with my neighbor, my dealing with people around me. Let it be a reflection of grace once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be a reflection of grace once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, my God, let it be a reflection of grace once again in Jesus' name. Reflect yourself in my life, in my heart again, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want to pray for quickly for two prayers. Allow us before we go to the main thing for tonight. May the Lord help us to do that. 
Just pray for our country, Nigeria, wherever you find yourself. You can pray for your country wherever you are. But if you are in Nigeria, please pray for Nigeria. And if you are a friend of Nigeria, pray for Nigeria as well. We need mercy in this country. The mercy of God. And mercy flows with grace. And when God is giving us grace as individual, it means He's having mercy on us. And God can have mercy on me, have mercy on you. He can have mercy upon this land, Nigeria. And the land where you are, you know the peculiarity of the country where you are. I'm speaking on the peculiarity of the country where we are in Nigeria here. Please pray for us if you can, as well as you are praying for where you are living over there. If you agree with me, on every, on practically on a daily basis, things are getting more expensive. There is a friend of mine on this other page. Don't I just sang yes, just led us in song today. There was a time where I was, I was, she was, uh, we are doing a kind of business, and she will bring things from the uh, us from UK. I will help her sell here, I send money there, and make my own game too as well. I think that was before three PG. I think so. We have been good friends for a long time, my like, God oh, grace. As at that time, we exchanged, I think, a uh, pounds for about uh, say three fifty or so. Since I can remember that, around three fifty or so, we stopped that business because the pants was just too much she was growing as i today night i yes, two weeks ago somebody was telling me i didn't know that today i didn't check it out somebody was saying that a pants goes for about around 750 naira i don't know how many dollars we go for now and uh, something we bought i think sometime last year about one thousand six hundred just this somebody was telling me it's now five thousand six hundred or so something that i bought at uh, 2007 some time ago it's now about six thousand Saturday. Things are skyrocketing at a very high rate. If you don't pray, we continue like this. We, we soon turn to Samaria. In Samaria, it got to a place that we are eating themselves to survive. And then got to the time, people we are eating their children, contributing their children. I will bring my children today. Next tomorrow, you bring your own. And if you are eating their children to survive, may we not get to that end in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm trying to paint for you the situation we are in. So that you can understand the prayer and pray very well. We need mercy. If God did not arrest the current economic situation in Nigeria, things will go hand of hand. Maybe you are still paying your tithe at your own level. God, God bless you. But I tell you, it will get to a point to even pay tithe will be difficult. If we don't pray, I imagine immediately you get to a point where you cannot pay tithe. You are robbing God, you are robbing yourself. It can be a difficult thing for us. And if you are not get careful, we get there. We are already getting there. We don't know. Many people already find it difficult to pay tight. People already find it difficult to feed their families. If you don't pray, to get what? Just about last year or so, we bought a Kong of Gary for 100 naira. As of today, a Kong of Gary should be around 500 naira or more. It's getting worse and worse. But what you buy today, be sure in another two or three days' time, it has gone up. If you don't pray and arrest this situation now, May we not find ourselves in a situation we don't want to be in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. And all the prophecies of war, of invasion, of trouble, may it come to pass. Despite our prayers, if you don't arrest this daily increase in, in daily in, uh, necessities. So we say, Father, please have mercy upon Nigeria and arrest the current situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Put a stop to this high rising of prices in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, in your mercy, put a stop to this arising of prices in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon Nigeria, Father. Have mercy upon this land. We beg you, have mercy upon this land. We know we have sinned. We know we have done contrary to your will. We know we have done, we have run away from you, both as individuals, as families, and church. Father, have mercy upon us. For the sake of our children, have mercy upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Arrest this current increase in price. In the mighty name of Jesus, please arrest it. Father, please arrest it. Father, please arrest it. It must be arrested. If this is not arrested, it can be very difficult. Father, please arrest this current increase in price. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please arrest this current increase in price by your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. We beg you in Jesus' name. We beg you in Jesus' name. Please arrest this current increase in price. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon Nigeria. Have mercy upon this land, Father. Have mercy upon this land. For the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the spread of the gospel, have me mercy upon this land in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon this land in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Who knows if God will hear if we pray? And I know He will hear if we pray. 
Remember, we sang that song that God hears us when we pray. And we can say it on many circumstances. On several occasions, we have prayed for Nigeria and God has responded. I want to pray that prayer once again. Say, Father, please, in your mercy, remember Nigeria in your mercy in Jesus' name. Through mercy in Jesus' name, remember Nigeria, oh God, and have mercy upon this country in the mighty name of Jesus. For those are abroad, if you have people around here, please pray for them, pray for Nigeria. Pray for us, pray for this country. Pray for Nigeria that God will have mercy in Jesus' name. Lord, have mercy upon this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let there be a complete arrest of the constant increase in price. Let there be a complete total arrest of the constant increase in price in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray for the church. To a very large extent, the church is still blind to what is going on. Sorry, the leadership of the church, they say concerned about making their money, about enlarging their parish, or enlarging their, their churches, enlarging their tents, enlarging their camp. And to a good extent, they are putting a, a shadow interest in this thing. In the prayer, God will open the eyes of the church. If the church sees what is going on and we pray in unity of faith, things will change. Only me and you cannot do it. Yes, we can do our part and God will hear us, but it will be better and faster if the entire church in Nigeria is woke up to their responsibility. Say, Father, please wake your church up to our responsibility in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Wake your church up. Touch the heart of our fathers in the Lord. Touch the heart of our fathers in the Lord. Open their eyes to see that things are getting bad in the mighty name of Jesus. Open their eyes to see. Open their eyes to see the eyes of our Father. If you know their name, please call their name. That God open their eyes to see. In that speak to them, speak to them in Jesus' name. Speak to your church of God, let the church of Nigeria rise to our responsibility. Let the church of God in Nigeria, the church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria, rise to our responsibility. In the mighty name of Jesus, open the eyes of your church of God to see that things are getting bad and that must be arrested as soon as possible. Lord, open the eyes of your church, touch the heart of our leaders. Touch their eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch their eyes, touch their eyes. Open their hearing, open their eyes. Let them see, let them see in Jesus' name. And help the church to see her responsibility and to take up her responsibility, her praying role in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us let things come to back to normal in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please talk less and pray for Nigeria. Talk less. You know, it's good to talk, to, to discuss politics, to discuss the government, to discuss the president and the governance and all that. But beside that, please talk to God about this country. If this continues the way it is going, it will not be good at all. I pray God will intervene in Jesus' name. Amen. If things continue like this, you get to a point that many children will stop schooling because parents can't just afford it. We will not get to that level in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And that's why I'm going to pray for our children quickly before we before we continue, that God, please, for the sake of these children, you know when God was to bless Israel and to take Israel to the Netherlands, somehow, somehow, he took those in the front away and promote the children to where they ought to be. Mm-hmm. But in Nigeria, we want to pray for our children that God in his mercy, for, his, for the sake of our children, let there be a new Nigeria mm-hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. God, and pray that prayer that for the sake of our children, let there be a new Nigeria. I know you don't want to raise your children under this current circumstance. I know you don't want to raise your children under this current circumstance. That God, let there be a new Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a new Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a new Nigeria in Jesus' name. Let there be a new Nigeria. In Nigeria, where our children can travel. In Nigeria, where our children can go to where they want to go to. In Nigeria, we are children are not afraid of kidnappers. In Nigeria, we are children are not afraid of terrorists. In Nigeria, we are children are not afraid of traveling because of Fulani on the road. In Nigeria, we are there is peace. Lord, let there be a new Nigeria for the sake of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a new Nigeria. Let the obstacle of our way be removed in Jesus' name. And for the sake of our children, there be a new Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This is the course of the week we are going to pray for a child. And I want to pray for that child again. She's not directly uh, related to us, but one of our members 
get to know her because they are in the same church and uh, I was involved and be praying for her and go and be touching her. Her name is Dara Simi. Go and be touching her, go and be doing wonderful things in her life and she has been improving. She's been discharged now, but she will still go back again for another surgery and on that and on that. I want to pray for her. I also want to use that prayer to pray for her children. But God will pray for her, Dara Simi, that God will stretch for her hand and heal her in the mighty name of Jesus. God will perfect her head. Can you just pray for that child for me? And God will perfect her head. I'm particularly concerned for her. That's I'm praising and praying a prayer here. That God will perfect her head in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that needs to be done in her, God will perfect in Jesus' name. That the next surgery, if it is possible, God will make that cup to pass over her. That there won't be need for it because she's healed in the mighty name of Jesus. That God in his mercy will make it, make it on earth for her to go through the next surgery again. That God will perfect her head. In the mighty name of Jesus. That will perfect her head and just make her whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now, the reason why I bring brought this prayer point here, I won't give you the detail of the issue, so I won't bother you with that. But the reason why I brought a case here because um, the, there is a doctor, pastor of us, it's a pastor and it's a doctor, and we are getting through her. We do that regularly. There's another doctor in our group here that I do, I do talk to from time to time. When it comes to medical team, and she will give me free advice. The consultant, God bless you, sister, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have done like that all over the place. We do get to when we have issues like this. And he said, the particular one that we, that we got to about this particular case, he said that we should pray. And that's why I'm praying the prayer here now. That we should not just pray for this girl, that it's been a recurrent thing that children have been coming with that same kind of sickness of late. That have been one, that have been two, that have been three, that be coming regularly. And him said, doesn't even know why he can't explain it. He can't say this is the reason why children are falling to that particular sickness now. So it simply means there is a, a secret attack on children. It's an ongoing and secret attack. Sometimes you look at it and say, maybe something she eats or something she wear, something she uses, just give excuse for them. But not to us, when it happened to one, happened to, just like the church when they arrested James. They thought of just a political thing, and James was killed. And they said, okay, let us take that again. Then their eyes were open. Ah, if you don't pray, this man, Herod, will do something for, will do something terrible. And they began to pray. And Peter was delivered. Not only was Peter delivered, the man, Herod himself, was taken off the road. And they had peace after that, and this to, to a good extent. So the same thing for our children. I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm not just praying for that girl, but to pray for all our children. That none of our uh, no good child under the umbrella of 3PG will be a victim of any attack of demons, of any new sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Go pray that prayer for yourself, pray that prayer for yourself, for your children, and for all children in pray, prayer pray group that we cover all our children, brother Jesus Christ. No new train of sickness, no new discover sickness, no new discovery of sickness. We have a place in the life of any of our own children in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover them all with brother Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, every child in praying, praying, prayer, go. We cover you all with brother Jesus Christ. We declare no new attack on children. We have a place in you in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover our children, brother Jesus Christ. We declare and we say no place for any form of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Either new or old, either new to discover in children, or that be there in children, or just secretly moving from home to home. We said no to that in our land, in our churches, in our fellowship, and particularly in 3PG in the mighty name of Jesus. We arrest that chain. We arrest that chain in the mighty name of Jesus. That spreading from one church to another. We arrest it now in the mighty name of Jesus. All our children are safe. All our children are preserved. All our children are kept by the mercy and by the power of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Now we want to pray for the sick. I've been, ha- been having reason to pray for one or two people after this, after the big event. And uh, I want to also pray generally for all members of our group that are in one form of pain or the other. Many of them will be recovering, if not all of them. At least they recover very fine. But I don't take things for granted. I don't like taking things for granted. Once A, call me, pray for me. B, call me, pray for me. See, call me, pray for me. I begin to take notes that we need to pray. I don't wait to become a general team because if you don't arrest it, what about the devil is that the devil will come in one small way 
and see your reaction to it. If your reaction is simple and mild, and you don't seem to understand, if you come again and that's more, a little bit higher than it came before, if you see adjust to it again, like a fraud inside warm water, if you keep talking like that until it come in a big way, that then you begin to pray, but prayer may be already late. And I want to pray for every member of praying prayer prayer group that God will give perfect every head in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone sick now, I declare healing for you in Jesus' name. Pray for them now. And those that are yet to be sick, that none of us will fall sick, that God will preserve our heads in good health in the mighty name of Jesus. That our body will be a reflection of His grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone in praying, praying, prayer group, including yourself, we come under the umbrella of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We are soaked with the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive grace by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare health for every member of praying, praying, prayer group. I declare sound health. I declare good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for them, pray for everyone in our group that God will give everyone good health and sound health in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. Every member of praying, praying, prayer group will prosper and be in health in Jesus' name. And those that are sick, the Bible says, By his stripes they are healed. I compare, I, con- I declare they are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. The sick are healed and the healthy remain healthier and be healthier in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive health and receive cure. For sicknesses and receive health in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, I will cure you and I will give you health for the sick are cured and the ones that are healthy are becoming healthier in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I raise this prayer because I know if we are sick, we can't pray as we ought to. No, we can't pray as we ought to. If you are sick, you'll be burdened yourself by that sickness and you forget other things that you need to do. For your family, for your spouse, for your children, for others. The sick cannot keep vigil. If you're struggling to do it, the sick cannot fast. Be struggling to do it. If you have ever been through us before, you know, sometimes I'm saying, I've been there, I know that I'm saying. There was a time I once told you for like 15 years, I couldn't fast. I couldn't just observe fasting from morning to night for more than 15 years. All because of ulcer. But God delivered me at this time, I was healed. I know you'll be here too if you had that kind of experience in Jesus' name. So I know what it means to be sick. If you are sick, you can't serve God the way you want to. And you can't even run around the way you want to. So I'm going to pray that God, every one of us, we declare health for every member of praying, praying, prayer, grooming in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare health for every member of 3PG in the mighty name of Jesus, including you and your family members. I declare health for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare it. Go ahead and declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Say, I declare health. For every member of praying, praying, prayer group in the mighty name of Jesus. For me, for my children, I declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And that was we sanctify the blood, we sanctify the head of your family, brother Jesus Christ. We mention their name if you can and say, For my wife, I declare and I sanctify your head by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. For myself, I declare, I sanctify my head, Kendall Benjamin Murphy, by the blood of Jesus Christ. For my children, I declare every rest and divine right, I declare for mercy, I declare for hallelujah, that I declare health for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare sanctify your health, me for me, with brother Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for as many members of your family, old or new, I mean old or young, men or women, for everyone, for every member of your household, declare and sanctify everyone's health with the brother Jesus Christ. There's no room for sickness in our midst. There's no for sickness in our family. There's no for sickness in our home. We declare health for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare health for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare health for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare good health for everyone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. I sanctify every body, every soul, every spirit in my family, in my household, in praying, praying, prayer group. I declare and I sanctify all in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want to pray. If this is what we are going to do tonight, it, it is it's worth it. If you can do that thing, we do it. But it's also to say that the Lord bring it to our our, our 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 notice. First and foremost, it's very important. I want to pray for the weary and discouraged. I tell you, many people are discouraged, many people are wearied. They are wearied because of their marriages. 
if you are being in a difficult marriage, you understand what I'm saying? It's not it's sometimes when you hear sermons that it's possible for a marriage to be fine and you look at your own that it's not doing as it was it's also be you'll be weary, you'll be you'll be you'll be you'll be getting sick. And if you have prayed, you have done many things and it's not improving, you will get discouraged. And the same thing happened to every form of prayers you have been praying, maybe for a particular delay to disappear, or for a particular thing to come to your life, or for a particular uh, health issue, or for a particular child, whatever it is that you are trusting God for. And you'll be discussing grace, and you'll be saying believe, confess, and begin to act those things out, and you are trying your best to do all those things. If care is not taken, you'll be worried. If care is not taken, you'll be discouraged. You may even get to a point, begin to lose hope. I say if prayer don't work. Prayer do work, my brethren. That's a fact. Prayer work. And I can't forget that song we sang that when we pray, prayer, God do answer our prayers. It's a miracle working God. When we pray, He do answer. And He has said to us, He has told us before in the past, it's a miracle worker. And He has done it in the past. He can do it now. And we always do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. I never doubt Him. I never have reason to, 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 to doubt Him. And I know you can do it again. I'm to pray for the weary. If you are not weary, if you are not discouraged now, pray for those that are. Because we do, if you pray for them, it might their healing it might also be a blessing to you and to me. So pray for the open your mouth and say, Father, they are weary and discouraged in our midst. For whatever reason it may be, or they are losing hope. Father, please heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them emotionally, heal them psychologically, heal them in all ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Show to them that indeed you answer prayers. Supply grace in abundance. Let them hear that voice that say, My grace is sufficient for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Worry and discourage because of their partner. Worry and discourage because of their marriages. Worry and discourage because of their children that are sick or down. Worry and discourage because a particular child is stubborn and not hear any word. Worry and discourage for their health reasons. Worry and discourage because of their work where they are playing, whatever may be the reason or where they are working, whatever may be the reason we are why people are weary and discouraged. Father, please, I beg of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them. Heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. In your mercy, heal the weary and heal the discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal the weary, heal the discouraged in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. It is not a sin to get worried. As a matter of fact, it is not a sin to get discouraged. Remaining in it, that's where the problem comes from. Elijah was weary at a point. Elijah was discouraged at some point. He gets to a point and say, Kill me, kill me, I'm not better than my, my those that gone before me. You know, it's not it's not the, the weariness is not the problem. But getting there and sitting down there and be talking things that are wrong is what the problem is. I pray I think that in that situation, God will heal you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any one of us, God will heal us in Jesus' name. I want to pray once again for that please heal the sick, heal the worry, the sick in heart. The sick, mentally sick, sick in their thinking, sick in their emotions, sick in their heart, sick in their psychologically, psychologically, sick in any way in anybody. Lord, they may look healthy outside, but inside they are sick. Lord, please stretch for your healing hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch the marriage, touch the home, touch the head. Let that delay be put to a stop in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every form of discouragement be removed in Jesus' name. Address the source of their discouragement. Address the source of their weariness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing. We declare healing, emotional healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare healing, mental healing, psychological healing in homes and family. We are this are needed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. For I'm sure that maybe one or two that for this line to the pit of uh, hopelessness. That is the peak of it. On that level, you see depression stepping in. You see all kind of um, depressing spirit coming in. If Christ not even taken, demonic possession can come in. Because wherever there is depression, there is an open door for demonic possessions. They walk hand in hand. There cannot be demonic possessions where there is some depression. It's not possible. It's not possible. You can quote that anywhere. But once there is depression, there is possibility of demonic possession. If that person is not totally, it's not quickly snatched from that pit, 
It's a dangerous pit to be in. And that's why I always beg people when I beg you in Jesus' name, don't matter what is happening, matter what you are going through, matter what you are you are feeling, don't fall to the pit of discourage of, of depression, hopelessness. Don't go there, please. It is difficult, I know. It's as if prayer will not be answered, I know. It's as if you are doing your best and it's not happening, I know. I can feel you, I can hear you, I can see it. And even the one I cannot see, the Holy Spirit can see it. The, I mean, I mean, I've mean, cancelled you, you have talked to me, and I've cancelled you wrongly, if possible, or cancelled you out of the book, if possible, or cancelled you as if uh, I don't understand what I'm going through, it's possible. And you're saying, Pastor, you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't seem to be getting it. You're just taking your own, you're just talking theory. I know what I'm going through, I know. And what I can't understand, what I cannot know, Holy Spirit can understand it. So I beg of you, don't fall to depression. Don't fall to hopelessness. That is the worst of it. Anyone that falls to depression is open to demonic attack. Is open to demonic possession. Don't go there. Christian can be discouraged. The Bible said David was discouraged. But he was he encouraged himself in the Lord again. But Paul at some point was discouraged. Many at the point said, Mark, don't go with me again. I'm dis- I can't go, I can't work with you. People can be discouraged. There's no point about that. There's no, there's no lie about that. But we can always encourage ourselves in the Lord. Don't fall to depression, I beg of you. Is it worse that can happen? And when depression starts coming in, hopelessness comes in, demonic attack can happen at any time. And that one will not be a double ally again. We will pray for hopelessness, we will pray for deliverance from demonic attack, and demons don't let go easily. Please, I beg of you, don't go to that, don't go to that level. Just stay where God can help you. I want to pray for those that are in that shoe that those are already dragging and are falling to depressions and are falling to, to hopelessness. That God, please snatch them out now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you mean dragging, if you mean pulling, if you mean if you mean anyhow you will do it, just snatch them out from that pit now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the name of Jesus Christ and by the mercy in his name. I snatch out that soul, that body, that spirit from the pit of depression and discord and the hopelessness in the mighty name of Jesus. You can't stay there. That is not your place. I snatch you out. I bring out in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for them as men in our midst or in our families, in our home that discourage to the point of hopelessness and are saying, God cannot help me again. Or they are depressed. Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare them be out in the come out now, come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. God will protect his own. Doesn't matter what they're going through. He said, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yet I fear no evil, for God is with me. Even though at the point of hopelessness, God is always with his own. I'm going to declare those people that they are daughters and sons of God. Therefore, demons leave them alone. All those demons of depressions, demons that are pushing in, that are dropping in hopelessness. Another power of darkness, I want to snatch them off God's hand. We declare this people, this person, this marriage, this home is for Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, therefore, there's no room for demonic possessions, there's no room for demonic attack in the mighty name of Jesus. They are healed, you are delivered, you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now to pray quickly for those that are adversely affected by the economic situation of the land. I tell you, people are affected. And I beg of you, if those affected cannot come to us, I'll be thinking and I'll be praying about it, that you know by August we should go for our yearly visit to the homeless and to the children. But I'll be thinking if it means even addressing those in our midst first before addressing those outside. If that's what God wants us to do, we'll do it. But between now and then, please, if you know anyone whose economy is so bad now, that to even feed children, pay school fees, take care of home is difficult. Let us know. If there are ways we can help, we help. I want to pray for those that are adversely affected by this economy. That God, please, they are seriously affected. When I mean seriously affected, it gets to a point that they cannot even feed their children. It gets to a point that since children stay at home, no more school. It gets to a point that their marriage is scattering and they are, they are going a different way. That God, please, in the matter of just arrest that situation. And let there be healing or that in those homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing where this is seriously, the economy is seriously affected. Let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. In family and home, let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever this are, wherever this are taking place, let there be healing, let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be complete healing, complete health in those 
families in those homes where the economy is gradually falling to the pit and they are seriously affected in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Our for tonight ordinarily should have been the it should have been uh, goodness in words and actions that we should do good to other. We seem to take it by God's grace, maybe not tonight, maybe some other time, and we're going to go through it. But I want us to know that at this time we are indebted to each other. We are highly indebted to each other. Don't assume I'm doing well. Please check on me. And I must not assume you are doing well. I must check on you. I will speak more on this during the during the what do I call it? And the cancer for the marriage. I want to mention something like that again. So don't assume because somebody is doing well. Check on these people. Anybody we are not seen for some time, check on him or her and know how things are going. If there's need for us to intervene, to pray for them, to talk to them, to counsel them, let us know. And God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why you are a family. That's why you are a group. And you must be watchful and watching one each other. I want to pray for yourself again. That Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, heal my economy in Jesus' name. Heal the economy of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal the economy of my family in Jesus' name. If you think you are not affected, it's a lie because you are buying at that price, in the high price already in Nigeria here. It means you are affected. It means I am affected. And if you are outside Nigeria, pray for us and pray for yourself as well. That God heal the economy of every family in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal our economy in the mighty name of Jesus. In the midst of famine, you fed, you fed Elisha. Lord, feed us in the mighty name of Jesus. Feed us, feed our family, feed our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Breathe upon the economy of our homes. Breathe upon the economy of our family. Breathe upon our family. Breathe upon our businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Just last week or so, I think two weeks, last week or two weeks, my wife was telling me, I can't remember what she was talking about in her family that we will be eating for a long time. And she was saying, she was saying convincingly that I know this is multiplying. She can't explain, but she just had that feeling that the food is multiplying. Ordinarily, she had finished a long time ago. But each time she go there, she still pick out, and it just was just there. And she was telling me, she just concluded in her mind, and was, she told me that she knew and she hardly believed that the food was multiplying. And I go also at this economy, it can do that for you. I know this is true for me, for my family. We hardly run out of food. Then the time we don't have money, then the time we don't have cash in our hand, but we hardly run out of food. Somehow the food don't finish before that one comes. There's never a time you get to the point where you say, there's no food in the house, what do we eat now? We hardly get to that level. There's always something in the house for us to eat. It may not be the, the king, kingly food in the palace, but it's not the bad one. I do say it's, it's a good, it's a balanced food. I want to pray for your family that God, please multiply my store. That woman for three and a half years, her store was multiplying. She never lacked. As the oil she was taking, she was taking the oil, the, the vessel was finished when she was pouring it. But the one in the hand, the Bible says she uses throughout the period. It means it simply means even in the one in the house, the vessel never empty. If she keep multiplying, keep pouring. God can do that for you. If God is is that for you, then that's enough. In your rice, just buy a bottle of some rice and you are eating it. Before you know it, the thing that's supposed to take you one week, took you two weeks, took you three weeks. It means God is multiplying it. It can happen your whole family. It has happened my family, and to happen again in Jesus' name. Say for the mighty name of Jesus, multiply my store, multiply my store, multiply my store. My store must never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. I must not get to a point where the children say that the indomie has finished, no food again. I must not get to a point where the children say the rice has finished, no food again. I must not get to a point where the children say the garri has finished and no money to buy on that one. I must not get to a point where the children say the bread has finished, the brick is working, but no money to buy. That must never happen in my family. Lord, keep multiplying my store in the mighty name of Jesus. For the sake of my family, for the sake of my children, keep multiplying my store in the mighty name of Jesus. My store must not run dry. My store must not get to a point where there is nothing in the store. My store must never and shall never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone pray, please, every people intervene, intervene my store, intervene my soul. My full basket must never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus. The source is my store, my full basket. We I keep my food, we I keep my store. It must never run dry. My kitchen must never be on a break 
unless we are fasting in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Brethren, I know what I am saying. Sometimes you can buy a bag of rice and we keep giving out. We keep giving out. We keep giving out and the thing refuses to finish. Despite that we are giving out, there's never a time we, we buy a bag of rice and we eat only the rice, only us. No, no, no. We keep giving out. And yet the store never runs dry. There's never a time right, rice run out and we say, there's no more rice here and there's no money to buy on that one. It keeps meeting on that one in the family. God can do that in our homes. Despite the economy. I don't care if there's no money in my hand, but I care much if there's no food in my store. The Bible says, I have been old, young, and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaking and the children begging bread. It means there was no food at home. You no, know, it shouldn't happen in our homes. If God is multiplying our store, how he will do it, I don't know. How I will buy the gas into my car. And I've been running that gas for a long time until another money come. I don't know. The petrol might almost not finish until another one come. I've never experienced that I got to a point my petrol finished and I'm looking for money to burn that one. No, it must keep multiplying until money coming to burn that one. Pray for yourself, Father, please keep multiplying my gas. Keep multiplying my store. I must not get to a place where I get to a place and there's no money to burn that one. The one now, the one I have now must not finish until I have money for that one. In the mighty name of Jesus, my gas must not run out until I have money for another one. My store must not run dry until there's some money for another one. My children must not get to the play and say, Mommy, it has finished, and there's no money to buy another one. Oh, that it has finished, and there's no money to buy another one. No, Father, keep multiplying my store. Keep multiplying my store, multiplying my store. As I multiply me in spirit with your grace, let that grace extend to my bank, to my, to my store as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that be extend to my kitchen, to my store, for the sake of my children. Let that be extended grace to my kitchen in the mighty name of Jesus. My kitchen must never be a holiday. Only if you are fasting, there must always be something we are cooking in our kitchen in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm going to pray for ourselves again, morning wise now, that God, what we need on a daily basis. What we need on daily basis, morning wise now, to take off our home at this time. Father, please provide it. It's a, it's a terrible thing for the children to come and to pay school fees and to buy an exercise book and to buy a barrel or pen and there's no money in the house. It can be very frustrating. Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, multiply our, 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 our sources of income in the mighty name of Jesus. Renew them, multiply them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a renewal, let there be a multiplication of income in the mighty name of Jesus. So much that to pay tithe and to pay offering and to take of my children will not be difficult for me. To feed my wife, to feed the children, to feed the family will not be difficult for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, please provide for us, to provide for our families and make us multiply in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now pray for yourself, particularly say, Father, I will not be discouraged. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be discouraged. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will be above only in Jesus' name. I will be above only in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be discouraged. I will be above only in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace for hope. I receive grace for life. I receive grace for encouragement. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be discouraged by any reason and for any reason. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace for hope. I receive grace for life. I will not be discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my home in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my family. And have mercy upon my home in the mighty name of Jesus. Make us a blessing to others as well in Jesus' name. Make us a blessing to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Then in particular prayer request, want to pray for yourself that we have not handled, we have not talked about. Sorry, we couldn't take the training for tonight because we have to talk to this area that are very important. They've been pressing on my mind almost throughout the whole week and I feel we should just leave, leave them by us praying together about them. God bless for joining me tonight in Jesus' name. But before we go, can just commit yourself to God's hand. Is there any area of your family where you need to address in prayer? I want to address them together with you now.
So come to pray for your family now and yourself. Is there any particular area of your family you are trusting God for? Maybe you are just saying, nobody's understanding me. Pastor is not understanding me. My spouse is not understanding me. The children are not understanding me. Myself, I'm not understanding myself. It took us here, the more I try to understand it, the more difficult it becomes. Lord, please intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Supply grace, supply mercy in this area of my life. Please go ahead and say it in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it about your child, about your marriage, about your health, about whatever it is in your family that you are trusting God for? And to see the more you trust, the more difficult it becomes. Pray now, God, Father, please intervene in Jesus' name. Intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Intervene. Let grace be supplied in this area. Grace that will bring restoration. Grace that will bring a change. Grace that will bring a, a new a restoration, a, be, a beginning, a new beginning. Let that be restoration in the mighty name. Let that be supply of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Intervene mightily, intervene further, intervene, intervene. Let others see this area of my life and know indeed you are you are involved in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, intervene, intervene, intervene. Mention those areas to him. Please, please say it, say it out, say it out. Mention those areas where you want God to intervene. Say that intervene this area, intervene that area, and be God in our life and in our family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen so to study tonight about being good to each other and motherly kindness that's what was uh, hope to do by god's grace maybe next week we discuss it as the lord help us in the mighty name of jesus amen. so i pray for you now please hold it all this prayer in faith and uh, trust the lord to pay attention to them and to hear them and to hear the family in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you for tonight say blessed be your name Thank you for your grace upon our lives Amen. and upon our nations Amen. and upon our families Amen. and upon our home. Amen. Thank you because you are asking us to live by grace. Mm-hmm. And we are by your grace trusting you and believing you for the for the grace to live by grace. We say blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for teaching your petition house and for renewal from time to time. Lord, we have come tonight and we believe and we know that you are filled us again. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where the grace is deeply, where the energy is going down, where the mercy is dropping. Father, I beg in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a renewal, let there be a restoration, let there be a refilling of vessels Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let there be a refilling of vessels in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let there be a refilling of vessels in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for Nigeria, let there be mercy upon this country in Jesus' name. Father, I beg of you, please, let there be mercy upon this land. Amen. Mercy upon Nigeria. I declare Amen. mercy upon Nigeria Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love it. Mm-hmm. As much as we pray for Jerusalem, physically speaking now, we are praying for Nigeria as well as our own little Jerusalem. Lord, please heal this land in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, please, I declare healing upon this land Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The current continuous hike in prices, let there be a stop. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare, let there be a stop Amen. to this storm of increase in prices in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for the church, Lord. Please open the eyes of the church and the eyes of leadership. Come and all those that are in church of church Nigeria, let them see and let them do the right thing by leading the right prayers and right atmosphere in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for our children, Lord. Please heal them, perfect their heads. Recover all children, brother of Jesus, in children in prayer prayer group Amen. in the brother of Jesus Christ Amen. from their head to their brain to their eyes to their mouths to their necks to their body. Let the oil that flow from the head of Aaron to his body to his head to his shoulder to his body to his head to the every part of his body and the anointing flow down to all the other places. Lord, I beg of you in Jesus' name, the anointing of healing, Amen. anointing of health, Amen. anointing of life in abundance. And nothing that God from above that said, Touch no man, not tell you new sickness, touch no man, not tell you demonic movement that moving upon children, causing amen, causing sickness, touch no man, not tell and do my prayer, no harm. And the children of praying, praying, prayer go, go, go from place to place. Let this be true in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare you safe and I cover all our guests, all our boys, all our children in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for the sick among us. The Bible says, Is anyone sick? Let him pray. And call on the elders of the church and let them pray for him. And I festival fervent prayer of the righteous are very much. I pray for us that are sick. Amen. Let there be health. Amen. Good health. 
permanent health, Amen. perfect restoration of her wholeness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And for those that are healthy now, I declare you be healthy, glory will be laid hand upon you, Amen. and you will be strong in health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It will not be here of anyone of us that are down, the sickness, no more in Jesus' name. We are whole, we are made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The weary and the discouraged, and those that are saying this thing, are they actually true? Are they working? In my experience, I've been asking God, and I've seen they're not working. I mean, they're weary and discouraged. Just Amen. as you help David to encourage himself, Lord, please help them. Amen. Let them be encouraged. Amen. Let them be strengthened again. You Amen. told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. I declare the grace of this month and beyond is sufficient for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed of your weariness. Amen. You are healed of your discouragement. Amen. You are healed of hopelessness in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray specifically for those that are depressed and are falling to hopelessness. I declare by the mercy in Jesus' name, by the mercy in Jesus' blood, you are snatched out, Amen. you are delivered, Amen. you are dragged out Amen. of that pit of death in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No one of our members will be a victim of depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And no one of us will be a victim of, of uh, demonic attack or demonic possessions Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for home where the economy is bad. And they are saying, what well, we have for the children. It's already night. Tomorrow we say come. And they must go to school. What do they eat before they go to school? In a miraculous way. In a way only God can. I declare in Jesus' name. Let there be so, so, miracle surprise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say there be a miracle supply in the mighty name of Jesus. Every empty kitchen, every, every empty store, every empty barn, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be filled again in Jesus' name. Amen. And for now and forth, no barn, no store. We go empty again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, I've been young, now I'm old. I've never seen a special forsaken. Now I see begging bread. I declare concerning you and your family, your children will not beg bread. Amen. I say your children will not beg bread in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No matter how hard it may be, no matter how difficult the land is, your children shall never and can never, I will never beg for bread in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The money you need to supply, the, the, the economy you need to supply, the income into supply, every service shall provide in the mighty name of Jesus. It gets to a point that God supplied the two ravens to feed Elisha and a little bruise to, to supply his water in a miraculous way, in a passion land, in a dry land. God shall single handedly supply your family in a way only He can in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I know stock can multiply, I know stock can increase, I know the rest cannot can, will not stop until another money comes from another one. In a way that God only can do it. Let that be that in none of our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare peace upon your family, mercy upon your home in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, discouragement, healing has taken place now in Jesus' name. You will not be discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. God will supply your health and supply your need in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Thank Every God. of your heart there that you have prayed that God, I'll be handling this thing, I'll be praying about this thing. And a sinner to be hungry, happy. Because you have asked again tonight, may mercy in the blood of Jesus Christ supply them in Jesus' name. Because of us tonight, I say may mercy in the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. supply them in Jesus' name. Amen. Because you have asked in faith tonight, may the mercy in the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. supply them afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God, shall, God has heard you and will respond positively. And your, His name will be glorified in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. All the places that have the troubles and discouragement and worry, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that Amen. God Himself will sort those problems one after the other in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will have enough in Amen. abundance and you will supply to those that I don't have in Jesus' name. It will not be difficult for you to serve God Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Lord, as we go again this week, we go in grace. We will grow in grace. We will move in grace. We will walk hand in hand in grace. We will walk side by side in grace. Amen. We will have to our family in grace. In, the mind, in a way only you can. In a way that only you can. I know of homes, I know of families, I know of situations in this, in this group, but I know in only you can step in. In a way only you can. Please step in in Jesus' name. Amen. In a way it surprised the woman, woman. it is surprised the man, Amen. it is surprised the children, Amen. it is surprised the sick, Amen. it is surprised even me, it surprised all of us. It is surprised our father and our mother, it surprised all of us that this can only be God. 
that this long-standing prayer point has finally been answered. In a way only you can, please stand in in Jesus' name. Step in in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. and answer squarely in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. Sorry, we couldn't take our point for our training for tonight. I'm really sorry. Just have things to handle this thing. We have just handled. And I trust God we have answer to them. And our heart, our life will renew. Our life will be better in the mighty name of Jesus. We are better off when things like this are uh, when God answer our prayers. We can learn better and do this way really better. May God help us by your spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you take our family song as we pray tonight? I'm so glad I'm a part of his family. Family of God. Strong as the wiser Solomon. Don't with Jesus. Oh, my band. I'm so glad with this family. Family of God. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine his face upon you. Despite your darkness in this land. Despite darkness in the world. May God shine his face upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And may God lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. In the midst of trouble. midst of the storm. May you have peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May your mind be at rest that you have been heard. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And may your mind be at rest that you have been answered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, Blessed be your name. Amen. May your name alone be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for all that have came tonight. Every prayer request everyone has had. And we reply you in a way only him can. And we only in will in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and sanctify you and help you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Your health is restored Amen. and better in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall spend your days in good health Amen. and in sound health in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And because of your Amen. grace, what do we say? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me in the name of Jesus. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. I confess as well. I confess. Yes, Lord, I confess. Yes, Lord. I confess it is well with me. If indeed you believe it, please keep confessing it. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear, keep confessing it. As you confess it, you will act it and you will see it in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you for coming in Jesus' name. Thank you. In Jesus' name. If there's anything I need to attend to, please let me know. And we gladly attend to you as God help us in Jesus' name. God bless everyone. And bless our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Meeting is over. God bless you. Mo bagbo, beni mo bagbo, beni mo bagbo, yodara for me.